of places. One is a live recording from the ISS right there. And this is on that image of the Apollo. Same exact thing. Which is, this is part of the structure. Look, you can see the tube and you can see the, 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 the how it subdivides and you can see the, the, the hand shape. You don't believe me? Look, let me do the outlines by just looking at the, the, look. It's like a fractal. It continues to show the same thing, look. As a hand, and then you can see that it repeats here again, and it, it, it's a geometry so perfect, man, that you can, I mean, it's just insane, man, to think that this is so visible, but only through cameras. We just cannot see this. And look, right there is the exact same thing. This is on live view. You can see the, the fingers. And that's the thumb right there. It's a hand. But it's not just one, it's billions and billions of them. So you can see the division of the, usually it's like that. It's a, a hand grabbing something like this. So you look at the division of the fingers in a hand like that. Sometimes it's like this, sometimes it's like that, like this, like that. Sometimes you see a flying deal that is like that with the index extended. Sometimes it's like this, sometimes it's palm down. On the moon you can see all of those hands position. Just we, we just people are no no there is no one single investigator looking into this thing. No one. I guess I'm alone in this deal. But I mean if you wanna do your own work, you should not just listen to what I'm saying because you know there's more brain think better than one each one on his own. You might not see it well because you have a tiny computer or whatever. You need to hook up your computer to a large screen. And the better the resolution, the better you're gonna see the deal. This thing. This is the reality we are in, man. It's not something I made up. Look. And this image is so clear, wow. That's what caught my attention, that texture. Those, there was something there that I said, man, I see outlines of something. Now I know what it is, it's fingers and hands. Look, this is a one fingernail and then that's another one, that's another one, and it repeats. I mean, I cannot even think how many trillions and trillions of those are there in crystalline form, but they are inside your house, outside. We're swimming in this reality. This construct is, is so freaking advanced and, I mean, it's difficult, man, to think about the rest of this thing. How far does it go, you know, how, how you, who made the guy that made all of this? What we call God, who made him? 
who made who made him and that's deeper way deeper who started it all i mean just if you want to think deep oh my god you got ways so that's the beauty of it we had the capacity to imagine things and think deep no other animal on this planet has that they have consciousness they are aware of what's going on around them in fact the octopus is an animal that has no equal in the in in the ocean or anywhere else the elephant might might be you know not that far behind and the dolphin and the cetacea the cetaceous uh, species but the octopus has no no there is no they think that the animal was brought here and it has no relatives, all, all relatives that are like prehistoric. The animal is super intelligent, my goodness. And it has the capacity of morphing and camouflaging, shape shift. As no other animal in the ocean has that or anywhere has that capacity. The chameleon, well, I only can do is change patterns and colors, but that thing can morph into different things. And it's intelligent, can, can learn and stuff fast, figure things out. But other than that, we are the only species that can imagine and construct things, build things, complicated things. We have the capacity to do math, deep knowledge. We can meditate and do deals that no other one in this planet is capable in our species. There are humanoids and all the races and who knows, they're down there somewhere. But uh, I mean, we would just, if we just could unify a race, it would be incredible. The result that we will see would be immediate. Get rid of all those weapons and shit that destroy, build things that support life, that, that enhance life, that extend life, and heal the environment and, and no more animal destruction. Then we will see amazing things happening to us. The way we're going, we're not going to last. No, I don't think we're going to be here for 150 years. That's sad, man. Well, the two of them, side by side. 